Alright guys, welcome back. Okay, so I, lately I've just been grinding on Dueling Book, right? This past few couple of weeks, past month. And um, it's, it's just, it's it's so good in the sense that it just gets a lot, it gives you like uh, the good amount of uh, practice to, to be able to sequence things when um, you don't really, cause like when you go to locals, right? You just go to locals like once or twice a week. Um, and like, although that might be like, uh, the hell, that's really weird. Why would he set a card and then... What the fuck? Oh, damn, he's playing the, the new deck. Then the, the supposedly the new um, salad. Because it, it basically does the same thing where you just link. Like, it's pretty good. I, I really like it. Um, But interesting. Uh, but yeah, like, um, like yeah, because like, it gives you a, a, fair, uh, a fair amount of practice, right? To be able to see things that you just normally wouldn't see. Um, be able to just basically, I guess, give you the experience of... Uh, um, being in awkward scenarios that you typically wouldn't be because like think about it right you go locals you you, you one or twice a week you play like depending on how many rounds you play like four or five rounds and then if you do top eight then it's like 10 rounds it's like, like what like 30 games most likely they all go to the game three and there's only so much uh variance that you can do based upon just 30 games right so like if you just go on tooling bucket just see uh, different variations of, your, of, your, like, of the deck you're playing it gets you a better understanding of a uh, of, of what you're dealing with, right? It, how to play the deck properly, what not to do, what you can afford, what can you what can you anticipate, right? So I noticed that, that, that it helps a lot with that because you just play it so much, you play it so many times that you just see things that you typically the, the average player just wouldn't wouldn't see because they wouldn't have the practice for it. They just wouldn't put in um you know does that make sense? Um Okay. I hate open up double desires. It's just it's like I'm playing at three, but I, 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 it's like I want to cut it to two because every single time we do desires, I just go, I draw into another desires. This is really, really annoying. <clears throat> um, so this is a paleo. Okay, I, I kind of don't know what they all do. You can take one of those add to your hand. Um, but yeah, so that's that's what I've been doing lately. And as for uh, videos, I haven't been up uploading any videos. I just um, I've, I've been uploading like a few deck profiles here and there of, of the deck I've been playing. Um, of course, Salad got hit, you know, like the Gazelle and Circle to One, but still, it's still manageable. It's still, it's still pretty, it's still pretty decent. Oh crap! Oh, well, I mean, that's okay. So I, I guess I, maybe we'll just bait him with the pot. Of this, uh, but I don't want to pot twice. That's gonna be annoying. This is gonna be really weird. I mean, I can go. I can. I, 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 I can resolve my Foxy, I guess. If he doesn't have like, a Solemn, because right now every single trap deck is playing Solemn Judgment at three. Like that's. Well, I mean, why wouldn't you, right? If you if you're a trap deck, just negate, negate anything, right? Except for like effects. Um. But yeah, that's all I've been doing. Just grinding on the new book, and um. <laughs> Just basically, just enjoying the game, <laughs> playing. Cause like, like, where else can we play? Like, uh, uh, like uh, against someone else? You know, like, I guess the, the video games. Like, eh, it's not really modernized. Um, I'm sure. I think there's a, a new game gonna come out. But I'm not too sure how that's gonna be compared to this. Cause this is like very universal. You can play with any, pretty almost anyone in the world. And then, and you know, like, of course, like you, like I said, I, 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 as I always mention, like you kind of want to go past. Get your rating to a higher uh, to a higher degree so you can actually play decent competition. Otherwise, if you're like down in the below 500, under 1,000, it's like uh, yeah, you get those those players are just <laughs> completely like a nightmare to deal with. So that's you kind of want to avoid it. So that's what's called a grind. It takes it takes one t quite some time to get past to the to one one K mark and uh, get to play against uh, decent players. Oh, oh crap! Oh, you're the freaking one of Gazelle. <laughs> okay, uh, this is this is what I like about triple foul, right? Because you're against backward decks or just in a mirror match. It's amazing because you get first of all you get chain block. Because since you play so, so like so many traps, so many like a high card kind of a salad card, Foxy is almost guaranteed to be a plus one. Like it's almost guaranteed basically. And then uh, the fact that you can chain block it and guarantee a plus one is amazing. Okay, let's just, let's just see where this goes. So let's just see first if the summon's fine. And then if it's fine, then I'll go to one two. Oh 
Hopefully he's not ignorant to the to the to the, to the simultaneous effects. Is he gonna ask? Are you using effects? Of course I'm gonna use effects. I'm gonna use two effects. I'm gonna chain block you. <laughs> yeah. If someone's fine. Here we go. Hit something. Oh, at least it's something. Here we go. More, um. This is a more, um, foul. <clears throat> foul fuel. Does he have a Canadian or something? Yeah, because, like. What? What do you mean? <laughs> what are you talking about? <laughs> I'm not sure if I should just go for, um... Nah, I gotta keep it safe. Okay, this, okay, the minute, the minute that resolves, is it gives you such a sense of security because if you're playing against backward decks, you kind of have to accept that, like, uh, I guess, un like, I guess anticipate that they have, like, a solemn strike. And, um, this is, I like this move. I like Gunnar's move, watch. Doing that move. And it just, it just allows the, the path to just be clear for your, your initial, uh, primary plays. Because, like, he, if he negates it, right, I can just save it with, a. Uh, I can just save it with um with uh, bailings, right? And I can just freeze another back row, either tributing itself or does that make sense? Um, because he just has one negate, right? That, that we know, of. which is uh odds are it's gonna uh, okay. He's gonna try to negate, and this is good for me. Wait, can, oh, I'm, I'm giving like a brain blank right now. Can he add? <laughs> Something tells me I think he knew that. Like, come on. Freeze this. What is that trap? <laughs> Very interesting. Okay, now I gotta hope I draw that into a will or something. <laughs> I don't see why he just didn't negate it with, um, I mean, why didn't he just chain it? Oh, yes! <laughs> oh, this is perfect! <clears throat> this is perfect, though. That was odd. Why did he, what? I don't see why he just didn't, like, chain them down miscus. That made no sense. But I guess this is just separates a good, like, I guess, uh, uh, better, the, the, I guess that's the, changes your, your, your player caliber, right? Like, okay, so let's go for,
and then reveal gazelle. Oh my god. Interesting. I mean, I guess I can just get like another trap. Cuz I'm I'm going to bounce the the I'm going to bounce this. Right. That's what I'm I'm just to bounce it. But what does this even do? Um oh, Okay, don't mind. Oh wait, that kind of does. I think I have to bounce this and then I gotta run over this. Oh, no, let's see. Let's see what's this. Because. I can get full trap. Yeah, but I'm really intrigued by by this deck, the the Marinus. It seems like it's, I mean, I like the the initial sequence, right? Where they just make it with anything, and then like um, I mean, not anything, but like you know, the, the archetype itself, like it just makes it, it makes it um. Yeah, now he knows. Now he knows that we should have done. <laughs> Should I bounce? I mean, let me just read it. When you put a monster under an attack, you can send one merge monster from your hand to the graveyard for the battle. Oh no, it doesn't matter. Okay. Ah, uh, toad. And then let's go with. <sighs> Yeah, he played this completely wrong. This is pretty crazy. <clears throat> I'm pretty sure I could just pass, right? Pretty sure I could just pass. Because, what? like, he can't, I mean, what? Well, bring back, a, bring out a frog. But what's a frog going to do to me, right? Like, what's it? What's it on his, oh, wait. Oh, okay, I don't even have a freaking balancing grip. I almost made a mistake of passing. Should be fine. This is more of the fear factor. Let's get to play those mind games, right? Let's do it. Yeah. Let's see what he does. Let's see what this does. Hmm. Water versus fire. <laughs> Uh, but I don't think they have like anything like like uh, Solid does where they have their traps. Uh, not, that, not that I know of, right? I think it's just basically recursion and resource management, but nothing disruptive. So I'm not too sure. I think that's what the Paleo comes in, like the, all the Paleo traps, because it's very generic. So you can basically play with anything. So in this case, it's a, you know it, it works with with, with uh, Twelve Rod. Hmm. Marble the rock. You can target a merge card in your graveyard, except add to your hand. Your you can only okay. I'll just negate it. Hmm. 
Hopefully this does it do anything when it dies. Nothing. Oh my god, here it's should be game though. Yeah, there's some in a frog. Oh, this is where I'm in trouble though, because if he has a frog, then he has a pen. Oh, oh crap. I think regardless, if he has if he has the frog, I think he goes he has totally regardless. I'm gonna just pop both, right? And then he's gonna go, okay, it's fine, chain, you know, and then Oh my god, what the heck was that about? <laughs> But I mean, I guess it's to be expected that he's gonna have like solemn set. It's gonna be quite annoying. Easy side out. Easy side out. That was pretty fast. But yeah, like it, it just gives you a better understanding of, of, of the deck and um um like deck building standards as well. Like it lets you see what needed, what isn't needed. Cause you play so many, so you play so many hands out, and you, you're you're in a bunch of situations that you just normally wouldn't, cause you wouldn't play it enough, you know. And I think that's some that also makes a a, a a big difference in, in, in you as a player. Oh, he's, what the heck is weird? These guys play weird. They play full of panker tops and going first. That's odd. I mean, I guess I guess you kind of can because your deck is made it tempo oriented, like. You want to set set, stop your opponent, right? And then, like, it's meant to slow down the game. So, I'm not going to, like, end the game as fast. So, he can, like, okay, back to my turn. Have Pank Top in case I overwhelm it. I guess that makes a little bit of... I guess it makes sense, but, like... I guess you... But more... I don't know. It seems like you would want to be more disruptive than... than you know? I don't know. It, it, I guess... It can be, I guess it's preference, I guess. Hmm... Evenly matched, man. Evenly matched. I always have evenly matched. Please, of course, it's soccer. I mean, it, it just... It, it does exactly what it's meant to do. And that's the time to... Like, like, you have to pair it up with something else. Otherwise, it's just going to be kind of underwhelming when you're going up against those big old boards. Like, some dragon is negated with hot red. You need, you need a backup. You know, like, some, like, in, in, like, a, like, a diff, like a different um dynamic. With it. Otherwise, it's just not going to resolve. It's like a two card combo, but like, it's a really good two card combo, especially like one second. Like, you know, like it's just it's just so good, man. The only, I guess, uh, I think the only one you would want to do, like, like let's say, um, evenly, even, like, I guess, like in the, the the new Arcus um, combos, right? You kind of want to be able to like bait the the crescendo because that's the only way they can stop it. Um, against Thunder Dragon, you want to get rid of the Hot Red because that's the only way they can stop it. The mirror, you want to get rid of the counter trap because it's the only way they can stop it, right? So you can do it either two ways. You can either cosmic and banish it, and then go better face, and then, or uh, or go pank or stuff. I think, but I think pank is just it does the damage, and if you know where it is, um, you just chain it and pop the. You know, so I, I, I think uh, in that regard, I think pank is better in, in that scenario. But you need to combine it with something else, especially, especially because like I guess. Now, before, like as before, you kind of just needed one circle or one gazelle, and you're in the game. So, like, having little two card combos apart from your primary play was okay. But now that you need like two level three to be able to make a solid play to get the gazelle, it's ah, uh, it's quite a bit annoying. Oh wow, he didn't do much. I mean, let's come with this. Does he have a solemn? Is he solemn? I don't think he's a solemn because he has like some sort of protection, right? What in the world is that? Is that the interaction I was talking about? If you control Link to a higher Mars monster, all face up monsters you can currently control are unaffected by your opponent's card effects until the end of this turn. Oh, what the hell? That's pretty good, man. If you control this thing, but don't hurt. Wow! What the hell? That's actually pretty good. <laughs>
That is... <laughs> That's actually pretty cool, man. Especially because she can make it so easily. Oh, wow. That's pretty awesome. So that's why it has the, the, the battle protection effect. But then, okay, this is what I mean. Like, I think the archetype is still missing something. It seems like it's missing that. You know, like, that, that stalls you, right? That stalls you for a turn, right? But how do you follow it up? You know, do they have, like, some sort of OTK potential? Where they just do the same thing? Like, the, you know how they, the, they link climb? And I guess they do the follow up, but then, I don't know. I don't know, it's, it seems to, I don't know. I'm still, like, eh. So iffy on this. But let's let's see let's just see what it's there. That's pretty cool. See this is what I mean. Like like uh, before this I did had no idea what the hell that did. Like it was like what the hell? I had no clue, but now I know. It gave, like, gave me like a little bit of insight of what it's capable of, right? Um I think I should go for the counter trap. And then I'll um, make a dweller, and not a dweller, most like. Oh, can I even do another one? Yeah, I couldn't. Yeah, I couldn't do another dweller. And then just like. Oh my god. This is why I like Fullest Barrel. Can be. It can literally be anything you want it to be. Like really, really toolboxy. Get my wolf out here. Oh wait, I forgot to add. <laughs> oh shit, he's just subtle, subtle, be subtle, be subtle. Don't make a scene, just play along. <laughs> huh. Look, this is what I mean, like, what are, what's it gonna do, what's it gonna do now? What's he typing? I like the little bubble thing too, like, I mean... I guess it lets you know if they're gonna they interact with you, but like, is there any other application for that, you know? Secretary is pretty damn good as well. What you can do with this? Is there something four I don't know about? Okay, let me, let me see what it's capable of. Let's see what it does. So I'm pretty sure it adds it back and then the other one lets you special summon it like this is what I mean like it's pretty cool it's this little sequencing it's like it's neat hmm the one gazelle getting in there dude one gazelle <laughs> I don't think he played the, I don't think he played this optimally. Yeah, 
Yeah, I mean, I would. Uh, I mean, I guess that's something you. Ha like, it's like a, I guess like a gray area or like a like a thing where where you you should let things be taken back. But the minute you start doing that, it just ruins the integrity of the game. Like you're supposed to be paying attention, right? Like I I know. I, I mean, I declare. I, I play. I guess the, the way the habit I've developed is whenever I, I initiate a, a, an effect or I activate an effect, I put a counter over it, right? That's how I like I, I indicate that I'm gonna. Um, use a certain effect. Um, yeah, right. But like, typically, like the minute you like allow like little take backs, it just ruins the integrity of, of the game, the match, right? Like, it's just like I don't know. It just it just, it just makes it like oh man. And then once the game is over, and if that costs you the game, like oh like it won't. It just it just it just messes things up. It just I it's I, I'm really like ah oh, it's like something I just don't like doing. Like even when myself like if I mess up something like I'll be like oh no it's okay I already did it it's fine. But I I I I wasn't like I guess um aware enough to be in the moment to understand that. And um yeah and I just like it just it just makes it better like if you own up to your mistakes cause otherwise you're just gonna be like ah I just I don't know it, it, I don't know it just. I just never really liked that. Like, like it's just crazy. That's why when other people do it, it's like I kind of like, ugh, you know, because like I beat I beat myself up for it because I like I myself don't like doing that, and it's just really annoying. And then um yeah. Um. I guess it's okay. I mean, I guess I could just do this, right? <sighs> Oh yes, I drew it. Oh, I got the duo. I, I love opening these guys. Open these guys is amazing. Oh, there's the foul. Go. On a fucking strike or some shit. So let's freeze that back row. <laughs> oh, this is negated. What am I doing? GG <laughs> Zach, isn't it something? I don't know. Uh, okay, I just got this video. It's just do the long way, I guess. Because normally you just go GG because it's like it's like it just lets you, allows you to just um, I guess be time efficient, right? <laughs> what the hell is he saying? Wonder what's going on, dude. I'm getting confused right now. What's he saying? Oh, don't tell me he has that fucking that one trap that makes him immune. I want to be I want to look like a fool if he does have it. Does he have it? He doesn't have it. 
<laughs> there it is. Oh my god, yeah. Um, but yeah, I'll see what I. I don't know. I just gotta get 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 with it, right? I just gotta put be putting up more videos for you guys because I'm just like absent. Um, but yeah, dude, this is gonna be a pretty long video. I'll try to I'll, I'll try to see if I can like cut in between things, like make it a little bit faster. Um, but yeah, if not, I'll just upload it as it is. And look at the look at the background, the little border. It's pretty cool. It's like it's like a like a it's like an elevated kind of thing. It's like it's above above the background. You see like the shadowy type of thing. It's pretty. I, I like I like how it came out. But anyways, that's gonna be it. Hopefully, enjoy the video. Like, subscribe if you haven't, and thanks for watching.